everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to check out the seventh episode of Fantasy Bishoujo. And last episode, we had the like the night goddess show up, who kind of confirmed confirmed the relation between her and um, Schwartz, right? So that was cool. We what was a little bit less cool though was that uh, Hina Chan essentially got kidnapped, and it was horrible. And we also had the elf girl got kidnapped as well, which Jinguji doesn't doesn't care about that one. But he definitely cares about Hinachan being kidnapped, and uh, luckily for Elf Girl, they're kind of in the same spot, so, you know, hopefully she kind of gets saved by proxy if Jinguji, you know, Russ gets rid of all the bad guys, and she can just kind of, you know, walk walk away through the chaos. That's kind of the, the best option she has, right? Because she got kidnapped first, technically, and she was just, she went through kind of a roller coaster there, because at first she was like, kill me, and then when he said, yeah, that's what I'm, uh, that's, that's, that's a plan, <laughs> she, she got pretty upset, but then he like, Gives her all these all the praising words, and then she, she cheered her on up, and then then Hinachan showed up, and I think she her mood went back down again. So yeah, just that scene alone, she kind of went through a roller coaster of emotion. But hopefully, yeah, hopefully things can work out. So let's jump on in and see how it does. So three, two, one, play. This might be the only show this season that I watch that's like always starts with the opening. And yes, and I understand why Jinguji doesn't care about saving the elf. I do get that. It's just that I would save her. So when I see him not do it, you know, it upsets me. It's as simple as that. You know, with glasses break, one of those shards could very easily stab Hina-chan in the eye, considering their positions relative to each other. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, freaking squid outfit. <laughs> I'm sure it was a lot. A curse or something. Yeah, wait for it. Just wait for it. Yeah, this was always how this was going to go. <laughs> well, he does have eyes, so... I mean, I, I, I'll grab my wallet, I'll, I'll, t I'll take her. If you need me reimbursed. I got credit cards. <laughs> we need to have a large formal election. Like she's like breaks out of her ropes. You know, she doesn't sweat the small stuff. That does sound interesting. Right, that's how it ties back to the sacrifice. <laughs> Very specific preferences. I mean, yeah, definitely doable. <laughs> right, he doesn't care. When I think of like squid bad guys, I always think of uh, Galzo Island, the arrow game. Because I had like a squid baron as the main bad guy. 
Is he trying to force all the monster girls to be like wife candidates for him? On an island. It's a good era again if you haven't played it. I mean, yes. <laughs> You know, just an objective fact, really. No, he's he's serious. <laughs> like, it's not an opinion, it's just reality. Do you? <laughs> okay, gotcha. Make, make that clear. Uh, he doesn't understand your complex relationship with Hina Chum. He maybe never will. I probably never will. So. I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, have you seen Hina Chum? Squid fire? Does a squid blow fire? Or is there everything like cooking the squid? Not if it keeps making sounds at me. I could never use anything alive like that. I don't have it in me. <laughs> oh, God. A poor squid. <laughs> I really do enjoy this elf. I've never seen Shina said in such a, you know, cheerful tone. Well, yeah. Yeah, he's not going to allow that. I mean, he'll get an answer out of you one way or the other. <laughs> she just... Like, that doesn't deter her from continuing her meal. I can respect that. <laughs> it's been a rough life for this elf, I know. <laughs> okay, so we are going to see some of the stuff she was referring to. Uh... <laughs> and that was the, yeah, final one. Okay. It is good that she's able to get kind of revenge against the tentacles. Yeah. <laughs> like they killed the other deity. <laughs> Really talking like a bad guy, you know. I mean, one punch man over here. <clears throat> He's got this. Let's do it. Just leave it to me. <laughs> Did he just fall in love? He just punch the water, knock it all out, and then grab the squid. He is very reliable. There's a reason why Hinachan brought him as her one special item. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she, she's like a pack mule? Uh, oh no, she's bait. Oh, she's bait. Okay, now I understand. Because, uh, you know, we already talked about she's 
fits the squid's preferences. So perfect for bait. Not not good for her, but she is perfect bait. Man, I love Jean Gucci's dedication to getting the job done. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this really doesn't help our trust issues. <laughs> Just hear a drowning in the background. <laughs> well then. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. <laughs> Can we get some um, social distancing here? I look like a zombie to you. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect him to actually eat that. Yeah, we need to rescue Tina China and get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, he attached some, some floaties on you, right? You should be fine. She's been in the water for three hours. Cause that's that's horrible. Ugh. I'm not sure how we could make it any better. I mean, we can take her clothes off, but she likes it anyway. We just got told by a small child. Ugh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh -huh. A cycle of revenge with tentacles. Yeah, that's definitely it. God, that mouth. <laughs> oh, that mouth. Well... Rip elf girl, you will be missed. <laughs> you don't I'm about to say don't sound too upset about about that. Uh, just everybody bullies this poor elf girl. Man, those squid outfits, they kind of, yeah. Well, there's like a bunch of them wearing it, it just kind of has a different vibe to it. All right, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, Jinguji's on it, He's he's got this, don't worry about it. Yeah, I bet you regret that now. It's one person that's willing to save you no matter what trouble you're in. That could be a light level title. Yeah, that really doesn't help. <laughs> Please help me. Yeah. <laughs> Explain better. Really is a great friend. <laughs> I understand you're upset, but there's no need for insults. Uh. <laughs> well. Yeah, because you kind of just messed it all up there. A 
and that's really your only skill set, so I guess we could try that. It's never a bad time for some headbanging. Oof! Wow, it actually got around. I, I guess the high luck stat pays off. Oh, it came off. I mean, I guess that's helpful for her, for her, um, <clears throat> her task. He's gonna marry that girl. <laughs> I mean, she was in the cage, like a certain useless goddess. I mean, it's a giant squid. Yeah, it's gonna pull pretty hard, especially when it has the his ideal girl in his mouth. Yeah, the, the second time they said that, is he is he weaker because he's far away from Tachi uh, Hinachan? Oh, well, there she is. <laughs> oh, I don't think that's true. <laughs> I mean, the seducing part, sure, but she's not a witch. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> It is jealous because you're not as pretty as her. <laughs> Man, the salt is real in that group. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that'll show him. <laughs> I mean, sp spiteful country villagers are the worst. Yeah, you might want to go with her and save your girl. <laughs> I love just the ranches going on. <laughs> uh... She's never been so happy to see him. <laughs> Are I just gonna pull it out? Yeah, give the villagers what they want. Give them their squid. <laughs> It'll distract them. Oi. Boom! Oh, right through the head. <laughs> uh, I'm sure she's okay. I'm sure she's all upset and sticky and dirty, but I'm sure she's fine. <laughs> Yeah, it was going great till you got pulled out of your home. Uh, not for you. Okay. Uh, Jinguji, you didn't help by throwing it over there. Uh, so I'm not sure he, what he was thinking. Uh, yeah, they put up a better fight than the elf did. I mean, to be fair, she's out of water here, so that's a bit of an advantage. <laughs> I, I assume she would be covered in ink, but... Oh, nice catch. Yeah, stab it! Just jump out of the ink. Sashimi time. Probably the most heroic thing she's done in the show so far. <laughs> it actually kind of was. Very surprising. Oh, it's a nice, nice dagger too. So. Uh, I don't like 
Okay, gotcha. We're just cooking squid. No problems here. Well, who's hungry? <laughs> uh, that poor elf girl. I think she lost her sanity a while ago. <laughs> what a bite of her god. <laughs> yeah, I just just a squid. Thank you for taking that off. It's really not. The man speaks wisdom. Oh, real really? I well c congrats. Why though? I mean, you weren't even the one that killed the squid. It was the elf girl, wasn't it? I guess she was part of the battle, technically, but. Now, oh, there we go. The apology. <laughs> well, yeah, a lot more important things happened since then. Also, we're back to our original, original mask. Sort of. Ah, uh, that's that's unfortunate. <laughs> pretty pretty in sync. It really should not leave his side. <laughs> I guess it kind of sounded like one. Uh, always saving my side and all that. <laughs> Would you please lead us, Squids? Yeah, it's Eugene Goody's new friend. Oh, hey, they're back. Our living armor girl and the other girl. <laughs> yes, he did so easily as well. Yeah, that's basically what I was thinking. Like, if, he's, if he and the child's not by his side, he does get weaker, which would make sense if he is, you know, her partner in that sense, or her special item. But. <sighs> oh god, I gotta stretch. Okay. Yeah, two of those are basically like deities or gods or whatever, so is the other one one too? I don't even really know the difference between a deity and a god is honestly. But we know for sure that it was just a squid at the, at the end of the day. Uh, that was a bitch that was a visual. A 
a choice. Oh, hey, oh my god, the red-haired girl's actually gonna show up next episode. I was kind of watching that in a daze until I saw the red hair. Okay, I, I feel excited now. But uh, yeah, that was the seventh episode of Fantasy Bishojo. <clears throat> and it was pretty much a straight up continuation from what was happening in the, the previous episode, right? Pretty much, very much kind of a, a two-parter kind of deal. Because Hina-chan was kidnapped, Elf Girl was kidnapped. And uh, yeah, Elf Girl wasn't too happy about Hina being there. She doesn't like Hina or Chinguji really. Uh, but um, yeah, especially didn't like being replaced by her essentially, right? Because just two people can't decide that Hina's better. You gotta have the a big old consensus, right? That's the important thing. But uh But yeah, Jinguji never gives up on Hina Chung, you know, they they have their fights, but he does everything he can to save her, which includes giving Elf Girl the important role of bait. Because she already was the fit the very specific preferences of the squid. Just get her all tied up yeeted into the water, as the kids say these days, and waited for the, the squid to show up. It just took a while because uh, apparently they're nocturnal. I, I didn't know that. I mean, now that they said it, I feel like I may have heard that somewhere before. But, um, yeah, he showed up not too long after that, so the information didn't, didn't really help much. But, yeah, also she got swallowed, but I was pretty sure she was going to be okay. <laughs> like, they did that classic thing of where, you know, after somebody dies or something really bad happens to them, something in an unrelated location of theirs or associated with, associated with them suddenly, like, breaks. It's like a bad omen kind of thing that you sometimes see in anime and stuff. But, um, like, a, a bowl will break or something. And so they try to make it seem like, you know, it was really bad, but I was pretty sure it wasn't, you know. She was just going to come out covered in ink, you know, and upset at some point, and that would be the end of it. And, you know, I was already, as we saw... That's just like Hinochan in the cage being carried. I was already thinking about Konosuba, because that is so like that one scene in Konosuba. And then she actually, then, you know, the word God is starting to get thrown around, and then it really made me think about Konosuba. But, yeah. Of course, all of this is was a result of the fight that they had, right? And we had some flashbacks to kind of some of their fights they had back in, back, back in pre-Isekai, right? Because, you know, no matter how good friends you are, you were going to fight sometimes, and, you know... We had an example of that, but at the end of the day, Jinguji, you know, he always comes through for Hina-chan. They, they are friends to the, to the end, definitely. And, you know, he's willing to try to catch a giant squid for Hina-chan's sake. And he did save her, although he did throw the squid near Hina-chan. I, I still think that was a terrible idea, because she almost got eaten because of that, but luckily we were able to, we were able to get through it, but... Definitely pretty pretty close one. Luckily, we had the elf girl come in to help, you know, grabbing the knife, getting all choppy choppy, saving Hinachan, being all cool, and then, you know, cooking up the squid and all that. And was even offered the job as their, like, head, their head chief special person or whatever they said. So, yeah, definitely a very important role she had in this arc, for, for, for sure. We also saw the other two, briefly. Uh, I don't remember her name, you know, the ar the armor girl and the girl that saved her, you know. They were here very briefly. I'm not sure exactly when they'll make them make their next move. They did it, they did kind of imply they're gonna try to like separate Gin Jinguji and Hinachan because, you know, he gets his strength from her. So they they may try something next episode, we'll see. We will see. Oh yeah, but you know, we also had also had Hina-chan doing her best in her own way to, to flex her, you know, seduction skill to try to get out of the problem. But it, it clearly did not work. She just got a lot of jealous, you know, very much less attractive, like, housewives and stuff that were just very upset about her seducing all their, their husbands and stuff. But, but you know, it led, it led to Hina-chan, you know, firing back and ranting at them. So uh, it was all worth it in the end just to get that experience, really. But yeah, the elf girl is a never-ending source of entertainment, so I do hope she continues to be relevant going forward. <sighs> so yeah. And next episode, apparently our red-haired girl is going to show up, so that's definitely something to look forward to. But if you enjoyed the episode, you know, remember to click the like button and stuff, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.